Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Omshini Devi. I'm going to take a session on product and product life cycle and various marketing policies that can be adopted by a marketer uh, to win customers on the basis of uh, features that can be seen during each uh, product life cycle. But before that, let's take, uh, give a brief idea about the term product. So product means this is the physical and psychological satisfaction that provides a consumer after uh, using it uh, and when we are saying about uh, physical satisfaction after using the product we are saying that after having a product like a bed or some uh, usable product the customer is gaining physical satisfaction and uh, regarding the psychological aspect the customer is gaining psychological comfort or psych psychological satisfaction after see like purchases a car or that particular person is buying a uh, sari for her so that kind of satisfaction is seen or he is gaining after availing the product but uh, when we are uh, like telling about the term product product means not only the tangible product but also the services that we gain after using that product also but here in our discussion we the um, prime uh, this target will be on the, uh, for the product only. That means the tangible part of the product that we uh, earn or that we avail. Now, uh, as per this, uh, let's go for one definition because many writers have given definition on the term product by in, a, in different ways. So I am putting a definition given by W. Anderson, and as per him, a product should be considered as a bundle of utilities consisting of various product features and accompanying services. Now, when we are saying that uh, the utilities that they are gaining about, um, after using the product, this utility as we all know from economics, this utility may be of different type, uh, forms. It may be in the form of uh, time utility, it may be in the form of uh, place utility or possession utility also. So this utility that the customer is uh, earning or gaining after the product is being uh, consumed by or utilized by the person and the marketer tries to uh, uh, put this uh, create utility out of the product and here when we are saying the marketer obviously uh, we are uh, covering the uh, actually we are focusing the traders because uh, in marketing only buying selling uh, part is only considered and on the basis of this definition W. Anderson has specifically stated about the product features and accompanying services attached with the product uh, that the customer avails or that the marketer uh, make avail the customers for the prices that their customer pays. And now, uh, let's go for the classification of the product part. Product can be uh, classified uh, as consumer product, that means when you like uh, regularly use those product. Uh, then maybe, uh, for example, a pen or uh, any book or any kind of other like consumable products. And it, uh, next one is convenience goods. Convenience goods that means when like uh, bread, newspaper, these are the convenient goods and these are can be again termed as staple convenience goods because the customer while planning for purchase of this kind of product they do not make that much of decision because it is only mostly done or purchased in a routine manner so this can be called as convenience goods because uh, these are uh, purchased with minimum effort and uh, less time is consumed because the customer hardly takes long time or long decision uh, like the uh, decision making process that means consumer buying behavior is not that much a lengthy one by buying this convenience goods then again emergency goods again in, uh, while buying emergency goods also the customer need not uh, like go for much selection because it is purchased in terms of emergency only for example umbrella during a rainy season then again uh, recharging when our mobile balance is, uh, gets over or uh, repairing a tv some if some important match is coming so these are all emergency goods which are uh, like uh, the customer avails or purchases without that much of planning then again impulse goods these are all like uh, purchased in the impulsive manner chocolate balloons are some of the example of impulsive goods then again specialty goods specialty goods means uh, obviously uh, there will be some kind of special benefit uh, that will be uh, the customer will be gaining after 
uh, having those or uh, buying those specialty goods. For example, life saving drugs, a branded outfit, these are all uh, specialty goods. And obviously, before buying that, the customer will be doing a proper uh, work on, before purchasing uh, those quite, uh, particular product. That means, uh, purchase, uh, much purchasing effort is needed to buy the specialty goods. Then again, shopping goods. Shopping goods uh, means uh, these are mostly we term uh, this or this mostly term while we are buying some durable product because uh, money is uh, more money is involved. Uh, it means money matters a lot while buying the shopping goods. So, uh, and it is about durable in nature. So, before uh, buying the shopping goods, the uh, customer will do a systematic planning before having that. That means they, the customer will sit with his family or he, the, he will uh, ask for reviews to, with his friends or any known person who had already purchased it. So shopping goods means those kind of goods like for example TV, mobile handset, these all are kind of, then again a car, these all are <coughs> or, uh, like example of shopping goods and industrial goods, these are the goods which are uh, used for further production activities and these are the mostly uh, like used for production process and example are plant and machinery and necessary equipments, uh, all those things that these industrial goods are the uh, raw materials of some primary industry and they are uh, used by the other manufacturing industry in making some industrial product that means a usable product and then again perishable goods which are highly perishable in nature and this are again the customer do not take much time to buy those perishable products durable products that means the durability means the time duration that the product will uh, give the customers longer benefit. That means it is durable in nature. It is for longer period the customer is buying it, and for longer period the customer will be using or having it. Example is a TV or a watch. Uh, the means a uh, sophisticated product to say branded watch, and then again tangible product. Tangible product as I mentioned in the uh, very first part of my uh, this session that tangible products are those things which we can actually see or we can feel. So um, it is a rough definition of the term product actually and intangible means the service part or the that means, uh, satisfaction that we are gaining after uh, buying the product. Now after giving a proper rough idea about the term product. Uh, the next part of my session starts that is product life cycle and product life cycle is very very much crucial from the point of view of a marketer because uh, if we, he do not do a proper study on his product life cycle he uh, cannot uh, like sustain in the competitive market and as we all know the um, product uh, period of a product also moves uh, like the period of a mankind means when we have a introduction stage and as we are in case of any economy or any mankind uh, we have a separation growth maturity and decline stage and lastly is the separation stage it means it starts with every <coughs> economy it starts with introduction then growth then maturity then decline and similarly the product also passes through some cycle and the marketer has to plan his whole marketing strategies and his promotion uh, marketing mix in uh, taking into consideration at uh, the cycle at which his product is actually uh, false. So it's very important to have a proper idea about the product life cycle and the marketing strategies that can be adopted. Now product life cycle meaning means uh, what is product life cycle? It is the journey of a product from its launch to its end of life or until it disappears from the market. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, mostly we have four stages now. Uh, one more stage I am here putting here. It is uh, five stages are there, and those stages are development, introduction, growth, maturity, and decline. And all this uh, during all this cycle or during uh, the stages the, of the product life cycle, the uh, product and uh, the acceptance of the product by the customers are again different from stages to stages. So let's go for the first, very first part that is develop, uh, this development stage. Development stage is the first stage uh, and it's the most sensitive stage because 
uh, of this product like PLC, the product life cycle, because uh, during this stage only the idea is generated. And when we are saying about the idea, obviously the, the best or innovative idea we can only sustain in the market. So uh, while making the idea, the particular market marketing department or market manager or that particular organization, they actually go for some rigorous kind of research before going for product development and after research, after finalizing about the product idea, about a particular idea, they will go for product development and after that it is very mandatory to go for lab test because uh, after lab test only some kind of certification can be uh, given to the product uh, concern and after lab test uh, uh, they will go for the final product and in this uh, final production of the product. So in this stage you uh, like a marketer has to evaluate everything related to the uh, product that means it's uh, probable customer and its acceptance by the customers, market scope, uh, whether it is uh, like the market where they will be selling it will be easily accepted, uh, acceptable or not, this, uh, market acceptability is uh, easy for or not for that particular product. Then again competitors, that means obviously competitors uh, and their strategy. Uh, actually uh, influence the marketer to make many changes so what kind of competition they might face if that particular product will be introduced in the product line or product life cycle that means in their own organization now after going and doing this development stage and after finalizing about uh, production of the so-called product now next stage is about introduction it comes to introduction into the second stage in the product life cycle now at introduction stage mm -hmm. uh, the sale is uh, low and profit is again obviously low there will be uh, most uh, more expenditure in production that is more uh, money they need to put because at the initial stage obviously they need to put more money in production and then again and they have to be very crucial in producing those uh, like pretty, uh, that uh, merchandise or that product because they have to release it in the market then there are no few direct competition obviously with Peter because it is literally not known to the competitors yet and uh, this advertisement regarding this advertisement they need to put more effort in advertisement and sales promotion expenditure and the market manager can like introduce uh, adopt some marketing techniques uh, either they could go, can go for higher marketing uh, uh, promotion expenditures or promoting the product they can they can go for spending more or they can play low profile attitude uh, for introducing the product and they can just simply wait and watch whether it is being accepted or not then uh, the another marketing technique that, that can be adopted at the introduction stage is that the price they should be very much crucial about pricing the product because whether they can uh, set the price at a higher level or high skimming price or they just will go for a penetration price uh, that means in the, in the market or they can go for uh, uh, price as price leader also they can fix the price and say, hence it is very crucial decision at this stage and next one is promotion and then promotion also they it needs uh, less time uh, uh, the promotion also uh, they have to be very crucial in uh, this promoting the um, this uh, product either they can go for uh, higher uh, like brand ambassadors or they can recruit higher, like good brand ambassadors to introduce the product and they all they can go for some social marketing platform to introduce the product or they can simply re rely on the advertising agencies to promote their product and again the distribution uh, for distribution processes they again obviously uh, they have to be very crucial in selecting the distribution line uh, because they need to only convince customers about the product and they need to aware customers that this product has come to the market and uh, we can we are offering this kind of features with the product so uh, after introduction stage next stage comes the growth stage now at this stage the product has been accepted in the market and so it enters at the growth stage and here the earlier customers obviously will remain with the marketer or with the organization and new set of customers will also uh, like uh, accept the product because uh, after uh, like um, customer reviews will be playing a uh, 
uh, like major role in attracting the new customers. Uh, nowadays, many uh, like customers when we go for online shopping and all, many customers rely on uh, this reviews only. And obviously, uh, before reviewing and other purchasing decisions or buying uh, decisions, the customers uh, will obviously plan according to the need of the product. If it is a durable product, then they will uh, definitely will uh, be going for a proper market, uh, buying decision before buying the product. And here another significant aspect will be with this that is more competition, that is new competition will uh, enter. And here the customer, this marketer has to be very crucial uh, to meet the competitors because uh, it uh, like when the competitors is witnessing that uh, new product is there, obviously they will you know, never come out of the market. Rather, they will put more effort uh, to improve their product line to beat the um, this newly launched uh, product or newly launched marketing company. So uh, during these days, uh, the product becomes more popular and more recognizable among the customers. And if company may still uh, choose to invest uh, here mostly advertisement expenditures, uh, then they can like uh, reduce uh, their money spent in advertisement campaigns because already when it is there in the market, it is in there in the mind. So they can like uh, put less money in advertisement, but some may uh, go for. Uh, investing more or heavy amount in advertising if the product faces heavy competition or high competition then obviously they have to go for more rigorous advertising campaign and uh, this marketing campaign will likely to be geared up through uh, towards differentiating its product means uh, they can go for more introducing more product in the product line they may use more uh, like packaging features may, they might be changing or they may, might be uh, like putting more effort in the marketing uh, this of the product that means uh, they may be like adding something new in the uh, previous product that means they uh, this marketer will do everything to retain back or remain in the market so uh, by differentiating the product from others they will try to uh, remain or introduce the goods to the market now after this stage the other stage come and that stage is the maturity stage and it is uh, another very crucial period of the product to remain in the product life cycle and this stage uh, shows most uh, like it is most profitable stage for the product because uh, the product is a matured one and uh, that where time when the cost of producing and marketing decline here this uh, production process uh, like production cost might be declined uh, because Obviously, they will be like already been established, so uh, this distribution uh, cost might be also reduced, and this marketing uh, policies may also be different at uh, maturity stage. And depending on the good, the company may begin deciding how to innovate this new product or introduce new ways to capture the market, and they can like explore new market, and they can add some more. Um, features in the market or in the product itself so that is they want to make that the presence of the product and presence of the organization among the customers and on the basis of the feedback received or on the basis of the resources uh, they might be uh, like adopting new marketing techniques like on the demographic they can like rely on the demographic need of the customers uh, and on the basis of this demographic need they can add new features into the product and through this manner they can uh, like remain as price leader or remain as uh, like number one competitor in the market so to summarizing uh, all the uh, factors of product life cycle and the marketing techniques that can be adopted i am putting something in very concrete way and stating the various stages and what are the marketing techniques and what are the marketing features that can be seen in the product life cycle at the introduction stage sale is very low and uh, in the growth stage sale gradually increases and maturity stage sale increase in lower pace and at decline stage our sale is declining so when sale declines obviously profit case of profit also at introduction stage as we have low sale uh, profit is again negative 
and growth stays, profit will uh, gradually will be rising because with increased sales, obviously profit will rise. And in maturity stays, profit is highest. The um, company will be, our uh, marketer will be enjoying uh, cream of the market. And at decline stays, the profit will be declining because of lowering of sales. And in terms of competition, at the introduction stays, they will face few competition. And uh, in growth stays, again competition will be going and maturity stays a stable competition that may be faced and a declining stays uh, our competition again decline for that particular product not for the whole company but for that particular product our this competition will be declining and as regards in uh, this distribution at the introduction stage the marketer may uh, be very selective in uh, choosing the distribution platform or distribution line and at those days, they obviously will be going for intensive distribution or mm, yeah, like marketing line or marketing uh, teams would be very intense one. Then again, maturity stays, obviously, they will go for intensive distribution mm, mm, like methods. And at decline stays, uh, the marketer will be selective in distributing their product. And as you go advertising in, at the introduction stage, uh, uh, more uh, like uh, money will be spent to make aware of customers about the product. So then again at both stage, uh, it will be more market. So obviously they will spend more money at both stage. And in maturity stage, they will uh, focus on product differentiation because uh, now obviously competitors will be there. Intensive competition is there. So they have to put more uh, features in the product. Obviously advertisement also, they need to uh, add more money. And at decline stage, only loyal customers will be there so only to those loyal customers only the advertisement can be linked and uh, from the point of view of customers at introduction stage only innovator customers will be there with us at both stage early adopters will be there and at maturity stage middle majority customers will be there with us and decline stage only loyal or laggards laggards will be there with us so that's all for this session and thank you for uh, attending my session